I took a psych, my first psychology class in high school, loved it. Um, so when I went to undergrad at Michigan State, I was pre-med, but my major was psychology. Um, worked at the youth facility and decided I couldn't leave, like I can't leave those kids. Between graduating undergrad and coming here, I worked in a residential home, youth home for a little bit over a year. So that's something I really enjoy and I want to, I didn't like that process as much. Um, it seems a lot of the kids come back um, or they get placed in a place that's not the best suited for them. Um, so that's something that I would like to help with. I really like Forrest coming from a large school. I'm a very large undergraduate. Um, I definitely, I was shocked at first by the size, like, oh, you know, there's more people in one class than in this entire school. And, um, but that's something I really do enjoy. You can just talk to the professors whenever they know you. Um, you do have easy access to your advisors. The students are really nice. The older students are helpful, which is something you never had in undergrad. So it's like a nice, community sense, especially being so far away from home. It was like it was real. It wasn't something that was just correspondence through paper, through email. Um, it gave me a sense of somewhere where I would be spending a significant part of my time. Um, just finishing my first year, you know, I still have many years left ahead of me. So it really gave me the sense of, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing. I can see myself walking through the halls. I can see myself being, you know, driving in the streets or living in these apartments. And of course, they were um, all very helpful too in helping t us to get to know um, different parts of Forest and different parts of Springfield. it's very valuable the fact that it's our clinic and we don't have to pull strings to try to get information and try to get things they know us um, <clears throat> it belongs to us so it's kind of an easy access um, and with everything going around um, going on we don't need in grad school we don't need um, our practicum experience especially our first practicum experience to be something that's so difficult Signing up for summer classes, <laughs> making sure we, I got the, the times and the dates that I wanted. We stood in line for a long, long time <laughs> for hours. And before the school opened, we were outside playing card games and doing homework and um, playing Frisbee. So that was kind of funny. Well, there's a time change. So I'm in a different time zone and the weather. I love the weather. This has been the best winter ever. <laughs> Um, only having it snow a couple times instead of a good six months of the year. Um, I like Springfield. The people of Springfield in general are very nice. Um, and I didn't realize how nice they were until I went back home and I was like, wow, you know, I get doors held open and people speak and so it's really nice and friendly here. So I enjoy it. Make friends. That was something that was big for us at the beginning. Um, we met up even before classes started and because down here I know a lot of people are far away from home and so this is all you have. Um, so that's something that's really big. Look at all the factors. Um, I was always one, I didn't think like, oh, I just, I don't care if it's in a certain place or what the cost is, but then when I really started to boil everything down, you do care, you, this is where you're gonna spend a good amount of time. So you do care about those small details. So make sure that you definitely look um, at the details of wherever the school that you want to attend.